Change happens. Accepting, responding, and guiding are leadership responses. Hello, David Penner with a word about leadership. An ancient Greek philosopher, after noting that we cannot step twice into the same river, comforted us with the assurance that nothing endures but change. Yet, we all resist change. Personal needs for security and stability vary. Uncertainty, misunderstandings, self-interest, and differences of opinion hold us back. The word change might bring to mind the ceremony at Buckingham Palace known as the changing of the guards. Sergeant Fred Barrett talks about leadership, how important that is for the guards, and points out the high level of skill and pride involved in the whole process. The result, he notes, is the smooth and swift changeover of the old and the new guards. The professional standards exhibited by the guards in their performance of duty might suggest that we become more disciplined in our mental approach to change. Rather than resist, we prepare. Rather than just letting it happen, we, with anticipation, skill, and pride, hand over the old to the new. Be prepared to deal with change. Move from avoidance to acceptance. Reframe the question. Rather than asking, why is this happening to me? A defensive question. Ask, what opportunities will this provide? What problems will this solve? And what can I do to help? General Eric Shinsiki famously remarked, if you dislike change, you're going to dislike irrelevance even more. Remember, you cannot influence the change of which you are not a part. Be disciplined, stay involved, stay relevant. Three sets of questions. What are the main reasons people resist change? Which ones also apply to leaders themselves? How can I mentally shift from avoidance to acceptance? In what ways can I help others to do the same? Considering the task and responsibilities currently held, in what ways can I anticipate change and stay relevant? Change happens. As they say, deal with it. Later.